Yo, what is going on, husbandos and waifus? Welcome to another live reaction of ReZero. Oh, it's also a review, I, but I know, like, all of you guys don't watch the review. You just want to see the anime. What's up, guys? Welcome. Now, before we get into this live reaction of ReZero, I wanted to tell you guys that 65% of you guys are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. What the fuck? We're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Is that possible? I think so. So can you guys, can I trust you guys to please Please subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe. It's important. And also, Mushoku Tensei, um, uh, I'm fucking talk about this every fucking video. There's a ton of anime that I'm reacting to and reviewing this season, about 10. I just don't have the time, but I am watching Mushoku Tensei on my own time, and I'll probably make a video about it a little bit later down as the series progresses forward. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, because I know everyone just keeps making me feel like shit because I'm not reacting to it. I'm sorry. That's that's all I can say. Uh, I've, I've already explained myself why. Anyways, guys, uh, we're here for ReZero. I'm excited to see what happens because Otto came in clutch. He, he's pulling up like the main protagonist. Incoming plot twist, Otto is actually the main character of ReZero. So anyways, guys, let's hop into this episode of ReZero. Oh, shit. Come on, Otto. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The plot. The plot. Let's go. How do you make friends with bugs? What the heck? I feel like Otto is freaking OP in his own right. What is Otto? Who is he? Cause I mean, we, we've just only known him as like a merchant, but what the fuck? Yo, the respect on Otto just went up a million percent. Oh damn. So at the time when he was young, he wasn't able to control this gift that he had of hearing things. Wow, his brother at least took the time to understand. I mean, his parents tried to understand too, but you know what? What does it say? I'm sure it explain. It has an explanation why he's not. Why he's a little bit different from everyone else. What did he write? What did he write? I wish I knew what it said, but I can't read it. Oh, he can understand them at that point. Whoa, that is a clutch ability. That's a really cool. He's Dr. Doolittle. Damn, he does, he does a good job keeping his power hidden, considering that I didn't know after seeing him for from the last season. Oh, fucking kids, man. Holy shit. It's all, it's all your siblings faults, man. God. <laughs> You're the eighth guy she's been with. Wow. And that. Oh my. See, th I, this is this is why I hate people. I hate pe. Oh my. See, this is why I'm a shut in, dude. Otto. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. Not only is super relatable. Otto's relatable. So he lived a, a life as a merchant. Oh my God. What a great backstory. Oh shit. Oh, to Subaru. Oh, he was literally about to give up hope. Now I understand why he has that, like, attach... Not attachment, but why he has that connection with Subaru. Why he feels like he has to back him up as a friend. Obviously, I thought it was because they've been through so much together. But there's so much deeper meanings to everything of what Otto does and why he's doing the things he does for Subaru. It's like... Oh, it makes fucking sense. Otto's such a good boy. It's like a realization. Oh shit, he's already out here! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he hasn't used it to that extent before. Oh no, 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 auto, auto. Oh no! Oh no! No, he's gonna fucking die! Let's go! Come on, auto! God damn! Uh, man, Otto, oh my god, my respect for Otto just went up a million percent, bro. See, like, look, I know a lot of you guys like Garfield, but it's moments like this where I'm just, like, against him. <gasps> Ram! Oh, shit! You know, you know what, though? I have to admit, that's Ram's way of saying you did good. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> So in Ram language, you say, I also have high hopes for Subaru. <laughs> At least that's what I'm thinking. That's true. Oh, he's transforming. Super Saiyan! 
What's she gonna do? Kiss him? Oh, I thought she was gonna kiss him. Oh, she dodging! She's beating you up! Oh my god! Yo, discount Rem is out here! <laughs> run! Auto run! Holy shit! That was crazy! Don't do anything! That was crazy! But I wonder why he looked all dirty. Because before he entered, he looked clean, so... I bet you he's he's fucking spot on with that. I get that cuz I'm I'm kind of the same way where like I don't like to get angry. I feel like getting well obviously you guys have been seeing a different side of me lately. I feel like I've been like a little bit crazy in my about my uh, uh, of my response of how I've been getting uh, every new season of anime. But IRL I feel like it's it just wastes too much energy to get mad, you know, especially of, of the people that you love. We all need that one person that rather than bringing you down, they're gonna bring you up even if you mess up. Not to get angry, but to uplift. Did Subaru know that Puck was leaving? So Subaru is getting mad at her right now. I like that he had to say, I love you first, because he's like, I love you. But listen, <laughs> I get it. I, this is how I feel about you guys. I love you, but listen, I'm not reacting to Mushoku Tensei, goddammit! That is the REM approach! The REM approach! You buy indeed. So what he did, I, I, I fucks with it. So he went about her physical appearance first. I kind of feel like he went after the attributes that a lot of people attacked her for in comparing her to to the witch that they all hate. But Subaru did it in a way that I love that about you. And now he's talking about the per her personality that a lot of people seem to just not know about because they don't want to get to know her. Damn, get married already. Shit. <laughs> You know, it's weird. He's he's literally just saying you have these regular human emotions. Dude, the imagery of this is fucking great. I ah! They say your imperfections make you perfect. Which, which he has died plenty of times. <laughs> so it, it's kind of like in their own right, they're both selfish. <laughs> I just love this. Subaru's like, I'm suffering because of you, but I'm doing it because I love you. I get Dude, this is like a typical relationship. People don't understand relationships are like this. <laughs> Subaru is literally saying things that sometimes you wish you could say. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I love being in my relationship, but I'm just saying. Like, Subaru is literally just like, I'm suffering sometimes because I fucking love you, goddammit. <laughs> this argument is so fucking funny. I don't know why. I don't know. I guess because being in a relationship, there's been like, there's been like conversations like this. It's fucking great. But she, I think she needs those memories to be able to get past the first trial. Oh, and he remembers what his mom says. Uh, but ha what matter isn't how you start or what happens in the middle. It's how it ends. I, I This is so crazy because this reminds me of that episode where Rem was telling Subaru that she loves him. <laughs> if you don't want this, then dodge! <laughs> She's gonna dodge! <gasps> no way! No way! Let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Subaru! Yeah, it's all natural. She's human. Oh. Wow. Subaru, let's fucking go! Wow. Wow! Wow! Oh, what happened to Otto and Ram? Wow. 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 When it comes to things like this, I, ha I have to play it fair. Because right at the beginning, right? right? Right what we see here, it's literally what was the Ram Subaru episode. What Subaru needed to be able to push forward, Ram was there to kind of bring him up and be like, you're not alone. I'm with you. I have your back. Because Subaru was literally at his meltdown. But because of that meltdown, he was able to push forward and, and proceed and to continue to strive. And it's the same thing with Amelia. Her meltdown that she was having because of Puck leaving, that was Subaru's opportunity to be that person to bring her up. And that's when you realize, like, you all need that one person to help you. And I love how it played into that. Because even when you go back to the, the Rem Subaru situation, then you go to Otto situation, which Otto's backstory is phenomenally done. What a great backstory with Otto. And Otto, he says... Every time he cries, it's like a rebirth. And it's that same situation. It's like, that was his version of his meltdown of 
thinking that it's all over. What can he do? So Amelia and Subaru were having their own moments like that where they were just going to give up. But then they're able to move forward. They all have that one life changing moment to push them forward. For me, it's crazy that it's Subaru kissing Emilia. And that got me so hyped because my boy finally got it. But what was hilarious was like, he dodge if you don't want it. <laughs> Uh, how everything played up to that moment was fucking good. And I love how in parallel, the auto situation with the Amelia situation with the Rem Subaru situation, great. The fight scene with Otto and Ram versus freaking Garfield? Dog, that was crazy. But now that Garfield has showed up at the end, it makes me curious to see what happened to Otto and Ram. I'm sure they're just passed out, if anything. They're not dead. But then again, who am I to say? This is ReZero. This ain't no shonen anime. Fuck. A lot of relatability when it came to Otto. That feeling of where no one will understand your blessings. But then he was able to figure it out thanks to his brother. But it was unfortunate about everything that happened. It reminds me why I'm a shut-in. Oh my god, this was a really well done episode. I cannot praise this episode enough. Moments like this, because I think it was the Rem Subaru moment, which made me just like really love this anime a lot. Just because it was just a scene, Rem just talking to Subaru and breaking it down. And it, it, it was literally the same thing with this. Even, even though we got like half of it was the auto story and then the other half was the Amelia Subaru story. And I think that's really important. I, I can't wait to see how Amelia is going to proceed forward. I'm curious how we're going to see Garfield pull forward. I wonder what happened to old hag. There are so many cards being played out right now in ReZero. There are so many things that are happening that I just can't wait to see it like come all together. But obviously there's so much more to ReZero, especially since the light novel is still ongoing, I believe. But yeah, I, I love this episode. Love this episode. One of the best episodes to come out. A mixture of action, but a, a big mixture of emotion as well. Fucking good. But anyways, guys, that is my live reaction review of ReZero. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that helped me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. Please subscribe. We're almost at, we're not almost at 50,000 subscribers, but we're trying to get there.